In the small town of Bratfag in Norway, with only 2,500 residents, the largest superyacht ever to be built sits in the bay, still under construction. Built in Tulsia in Romania, she was launched with her engines and superstructure in place and towed thousands of miles here to finish construction of this massive endeavour. She sits 183 metres, with a gross tonnage of 17,440. That's 1,500 gross tonnes more than Dilbar and two and a half metres longer than Assam. She would take the crown of longest and most voluminous superyacht in the world. However, the titles are safe for now, as Rev Ocean will not be classed as a fully fledged superyacht, even though she will end her construction process in Lloyd Werft, Germany, where she will be painted and outfitted to superyacht standards. She arrived in Bratvag in February this year and she is in the process of being transformed from a steel hull to the most advanced research vessel in the world. She will have working accommodation for researchers and a supposed high level of comfort for crew. Advanced oceanography equipment will be fitted on board, allowing to survey marine areas, currents, the seabed, fish, animals and plant life. REV has been designed to be as fuel efficient as possible. She will be able to circumnavigate the globe without refueling. She has an energy recovery rudder system, medium speed engines, a direct drive diesel electric propulsion system and an exhaust cleaning system. She has a cargo deck and storage for a submersible with a massive crane as well as laboratories and an auditorium. Because of the pandemic the shipyard is experiencing delays and they cannot at present give a date when the vessel will finish in Norway. In a statement Rev Ocean said that it cannot give an exact timeline on when the vessel will be completed and it is working with the yard to establish a new timeline. This delay affects all of our key work streams, including calls for proposals and the timing of our inaugural cruises, it said. Whenever she's ready, she'll be an impressive sight, and I can only imagine some of the places she will venture. <laughs> 